Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. Today, we'll learn a Java program to copy all elements of one array into another array. So, we'll have one source array. For example, the values will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we'll keep one more destination array. And there, we'll copy all those values present in the source array to the destination array. Okay, let's see how we can do it through a program. So, first, we will create a new class and we will name it as copy array public static void main finish so first thing what we need to do we need to initialize an array so to initialize an array what you can do you can take one array for example the array name will give array 1 and it is the type is integer and what we will do we will write new int then we will give the values for example we will give 1 3 5 I am taking one small one so it will be easy to understand ok so second thing what what we will do we will take another array again type is same name it as int array 2 and we will keep the size same as the first array so what we will do new int you know the size is 3 here but if it is a big array or something like that instead of giving like this what you can do array 1 dot length ok you can use this fine so we created the second array now what we'll do we'll copy the content from first array to second array for that what we can do we'll write a for loop then we'll write for int i equal to 0 then i is less than array 1 dot length i plus plus then what we'll write here array 2 of i is equal to array 1 of i. I'll explain what is happening here. Okay, let us write the program first. Then what we'll do? We'll print it. So we can write something like this display elements of second array. Okay. So, to print one array, again you can use the for loop and what you can write for int i equal to 0, then give a space here, int i equal to 0, i is less than array 2 dot length, ok. Then i plus plus, what you can do here, again sys out what you want to print here array 2 of i ok then maybe we can give some space here I will tell you why we are giving space here ok so let me execute it run as java application ok what we are getting display elements of second array 135 only thing is we are getting in this way right in the new line so let's remove this let's keep only system out dot print let's see now okay you got in the right order or if you want in kind of comma you can put something like this so this is more of how you want to print okay again one extra comma is coming here okay it's better we'll keep a space and let's run like this okay so what we are doing here let's understand that that's more important right first thing is we are trying to initialize okay initialize first array okay so this first statement what we did initialize the first array 
in the second array second thing what we are doing we are creating create another array which is array 2 with same size as array 1 so this is the way you can create one more array and if you want the array size to be same so you can use array one dot length and here what we are doing copying all elements of array one to array two so what we are doing we are using a for loop so what we are telling here for int i equal to zero i is less than array one dot length so what is the array length here 3 ok then i plus plus array 2 of i equal to array 1 of i so in place of second array's ith position we are placing whatever is present in array 1 ith position so i value is 0 so array 1 0th value what is there it is 1 right so in array 2 0th position we are keeping 1 again loop will go up and i value will be 1 and 1 is less than equal to 3 or i plus plus then array 2 i value is 1 so array 2 in first position will keep whatever is present array 1 in the first position in the first position it will be means 1 1 place it will be 3 so we are keeping here 3 similarly the loop will go up and the i value is equal to 2 so 2 is less than equal to 3 then in array 2 second position will keep array 1 second position value so in second position the value is 5 0th 1 2 so the value is 5 ok again the loop will go up i value is equal to 3 3 is not less than equal to 3 so the loop will break here it will not go inside so your array 2 value is 1 3 and 5 so same thing we are printing here so we are writing sys out display elements of second array for int i equal to 0 again the same similarly we are putting the loop when i is equal to 0 i is less than equal to array 2 dot length uh, which is 3 and i plus plus we are printing sys out array 2 so in the array 2 whatever is the i value i value is 0 right so it will print first 1 again the loop will go up second value is 3 it will print 3 again the third value it will be 5 so this statement is more of printing the second array so you can write here printing the second array okay so that's how you can copy one array to another array thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel